Hello, hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending from where you are. My name is Kelvin Smashbones. I'm the founder of hostmarie.com. Uh, and this is a tutorial on catch all forwarders or catch all emails, how you can create them and what they do and what they are. So this might be interesting, really interesting to many, many uh, new users. So here we go. <clears throat> Let me prepare the screen and remove everything. Okay, to make the screens larger. So um, what happens? Sometimes you might stumble upon the situation. So uh, so once you, so I have, okay. We have an account here, mariahost.com. So of course, our main domain name is Host Maria, and this is just a, a, another version. So mariahost.com. And up here, you would go and check the email addresses. So let us say your domain is something else, and you would create, so your, email would be, for example, hello, hello, at Maria Host, then you would have accounts, you would have accounts for your business, uh, then you have uh, lawyers, for example, law, <clears throat> and then accounts, and then something, uh, this is, yeah, so, so let us say you would have three main emails, and what can you do? if a person sends an email instead of accounts so they send it to uh so if, if people send uh email address to account so they misspell it so they would so what happens if a person sends an email address to an email that does not exist or maybe or maybe you had a person uh you had a person working for you for example his name was john and <clears throat> So you had John working. John was receiving a lot, lots of emails, and then he left your, uh, he left, uh, he left the work, and now you have deleted his email address. Or maybe you have taken over a company, and or you have taken over a, dom uh, you have taken over a domain name, and you do not know all the previous email addresses it has had. So this tutorial is very simple on how you can, how you what what you can do to receive all the emails that are sent to the domain name, to the emails, to the email addresses that do not do not exist. And the solution is very very simple, and it is hidden up here. So let us remember. So we have accounts, we have hello, and we have law. And let us say, yeah, okay, that's that's enough. So what we do here, we are at stackcp.com. That's the cloud hosting dashboard. Now we go to the main section, email, and we go to catch all forwarders. This is a perfect solution for you. So you would, uh, so please, please read here. <clears throat> please read here. Wildcard, uh, so yes, C catch, sorry. Just do catch all forwarder. And anything at Marie Host, so anything apart, so once again, let us see. Anything means any other version of email sent to mariahost.com except these one, two, three, any of them will go and we can redirect them to, <coughs> to let us say old and then to old. Uh, to old old emails old emails at my gmail at gmail.com for example if you have this you have an, an email address at gmail.com and bang successfully added the email forwarder here you go and uh, so and you can see all the emails that are sent to maria host to, to inboxes that do not exist will be redirected to this Gmail address. And this is a simple, simple thing how you can catch all old email emails that are sent to email addresses that haven't been sent. Uh, so what I would what I would suggest one thing really really what it what it also reminds to everybody please do not drop your uh, domain names that did belong to your business. 
there are people, sadly, there are bad players in the world who are catching, who are buying the domains that have been previously used by businesses, and they set up these catch-all forward, uh, catch-all email, uh, email, email forwarders, and they try to catch all the emails, and then they analyze them, and quite a lot. Quite often, it does happen that users that did have your email address, they send you, they pick up your business card. So I have, I have plenty of business cards on my on my table. I've got, I don't know, I've got thousands. I've got thousands of seriously, I've got thousands of business cards, and I I would know where to find one of a person what I, whom I met maybe five seven years ago. I would remember remember. Okay, I was at that exhibition or that convention oh and there was this interesting person and i need to find him and i would find his business card i would i would try to send him an email and if the domain does if the domain was dropped so a business decided that we we stopped operating and they dropped it then i would send an email and somebody else might pick that email just because they bought the domain if they did not know they did not know uh, they didn't know what to, what emails the company had so all they had to do is just create this catch all forwarder and they would screen all the emails so one thing is so one thing please be careful with your business with, with your business domains do not ever allow allow them to drop just keep them just keep them keep them keep them thank you and this was a short tutorial on how to use catch all forwarders and send emails so and if you have a business it is a it is a really really good practice to create these catch-all forwarders because people would misspell your emails quite a lot my name is helmets and i've seen so many versions of misspelling in there and it is absolutely fine for me so any email that is sent to your domain name any email and to email address that does not exist the main thing it has to be on your domain name will be received by you in another in another email if it is uh if these uh, catch-all forwarders are created hopefully this helps you and have a great great day all the best